Welcome back everyone, Magical Chronicles here. All right, what are we doing this month? Guess what? It's all about that soulmate reading. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm gonna be focusing on your love. And I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from the money. Of course, if anything comes up regarding your abundance, regarding money, I will let you know. But as you know, I like to focus on the Venus sign and all the zodiacs and what that is about is your abundance and abundance comes in so many different forms so it's about your love your wealth your finance your career your travel your luxury your beauty you name it i'm talking all about it okay so if you're new hit the subscribe button and welcome if you've been here before welcome back and hit that like button okay venus sign of scorpio yeah there's no surprise that i like chose you for the beginning of the month because I know you all are all about your love you're very sensual and sexual so let's take a look at what happened in your premeditation so the first part of the premeditation was about the singles pretty much your soulmate is not gonna come in until you let go of the past and you cannot let go of the past because you keep thinking that you need to hold on to it or you need to entertain it and the honest truth is Entertaining the past is actually what's stopping you from moving forward, just so you know. Now, couples, a lot of you have actually met your soulmate, but you're still kind of questioning if this is your soulmate. And I think it's because you're still not trusting yourself and trusting what's being brought to you. I mean, you have so much good stuff that's been brought to you. And this is specifically for the couples. So much good stuff. And then you question it. You keep questioning it. Matter of fact, yeah, it's a little bit of both. A little bit of the singles and the couples. Keep questioning some of the good stuff that's coming to you. So let's see what's happening with the cards, right? I'm going to go ahead and dive straight into the tarot and see what the Venus sign of Scorpio singles needs to learn and understand the highest good. A lot of blocks, blockages, moving forward slightly. You're moving forward, let's put it that way. You are moving forward in the right direction, doing a lot of work on yourself, healing yourself, getting out there and dating. Um, but I still see there being blocks in the path and that's because of what has happened. Sorry, you're having blocks of moving forward in the future and it's because of holding on to the past. And you've got that there with the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, sorry. And then you got the Two of Wands. Let's get one more card over here, please, for the Venus sign of Scorpio singles. Okay, so you got, like I said, the Knight of Wands. You're moving forward, but you're having some stumbling blocks along the way in finding the right person for you. Still continue to date around, those of you who've been dating and getting yourself out there. For those of you who are not dating at all, you can't find the person that you want from your couch or from your bed. Like you have to get out there and date. I get the feeling that some of you are fearful of dating right now, maybe because of COVID or maybe it's a case of like, you know, things didn't work out before. So, you know, you're just taking a break, but you still want love. And the only way you're going to find that love is to put yourself out there. So some of you are not doing that. But this is more so for those right now who are on the path of finding love. But like I said, there's this block and it has to do with past, holding on to the past. You have the two of wands here, which is saying that, like, you know, things are going to look up for you. Things are going to get brighter. Um, it's about you continuing to be positive and focus and seeing the good in people because some of you go out there and you go into your relationships with a bit of a negativity and you may not even realize it but it's more so about seeing the good actually you're not sorry to say this for some of you you are not going to find the right person in your hometown it's just not going to happen you're going to meet someone while you're traveling. And did I see that in the premeditation? I think in the meditation, I saw something about meeting someone on your travels. It's not going to be the person. 
It's not going to be someone in your area. It's going to be someone that does not live in your state. They may not even live in your country, but you're not going to, the person you're going to end up being with, the soulmate, is not in your direct area. So it's either you're going to find them while you're traveling or while they're traveling to your city or to your area. You're going to happen to go on a date with someone, but you're going to meet them on your travels. Um, okay, you have the Five of Swords here. And I think your energy is a bit all over the place. And I really believe this is because some of you are dating a lot like constantly going on dates like spitting it out over and over um some of you also are dating multiple people at the same time and this is actually what's stopping you from moving forward with finding a soulmate because there's too much energy around you there's a lot of energy around you that's actually not for your highest intentions just so you know so You've got, like I said, with the first card with the Knight of Wands, with some stumbling blocks. You've got the Two of Wands, keeping, looking forward and understanding that you're going to find the right person. It's just going to take you some time. But like I said, this person is not in your area. Your soulmate is not in your area. You're going to end up finding them on, on your travels or they're traveling to you, to your area. And that's how you're going to meet. And also, like I said, you're, some of you, I think somebody in particular who's dating a lot and you have like, doesn't matter if this is a man or a woman, but like you have a lot of options around you and you're dating all these options. And because of that, it's actually stopping you from meeting the person. It's like the energy is very stagnant around you. So just be careful. Like I said, just be very careful with who you're being around okay so that is for venus sign of scorpio singles i want to go ahead and get some cards for venus sign of scorpio couples what is going on with the venus sign of scorpio couples please Ooh, all my cards just flew all over the place okay let's do one more shuffle for you what else is the sign of Scorpio couple please learn and understand, please? All right, let's get one more card. Let's give you one more card. Sign of Scorpio couples. All right, so we've got, yep, you, you've got your soulmate. Why do you keep questioning it? You've got the lovers right here. Great relationship. You all are... Bonding, I mean, it's the kind of relationship where you all are so close. And this is for those who are with a partner in a relationship. Some of you are already married. And I see that y'all have a really deep bond. It's so deep. It's like, you know, those people who finish each other's sentences or you say to your partner, oh, you know, I was just thinking about like X, Y, Z. And they're like, oh, I was just thinking about the same thing too. It's like y'all are so connected with each other right here with the lover's card that it's such a beautiful relationship. So why are you questioning it? And I think you are questioning it because here with the seven of cups, you think that there's so much more work that you that needs to be done on you and on your relationship. But it's not really about you trying to work hard on the relationship. It's really about you enjoying the moment. And that's what you need to do. I'm not saying don't work on your relationship because, you know, you should always be working on yourself in your relationship. But like you think this is the way in which you're thinking. You keep thinking that there's so much that you need to work in order to get this relationship to be perfect. And it's not about it being perfect. It's about y'all just really understanding each other, enjoying each other's company, having fun with each other. And I see that already. That's already what you're doing. You're having fun with each other. But I think, like you said, you question yourself a lot. And I think that's why you've been wondering if this is your soulmate. But the honest truth is this is your soulmate. And y'all have a beautiful relationship. And I'm seeing a lot here as in like, I feel like you hit the jackpot of relationships. So in other words, you all are thinking along the same wavelength of like building a family together, you know, forming businesses together. Or maybe they're helping you with your business or you're helping them with their business. Like money, like the kind of relationship you have like the money is going to be flowing 
and also like the love is very deep you're very understanding of each other and if one doesn't understand something you can go to the other with it so it's a great relationship right like i'm seeing like stars in the sky of like it's a really beautiful blessing but then at the same time again here with the queen of swords you really are such a deep thinker i think you overthink things and you're always questioning if this is the right person you're always questioning always questioning you every day you think and i think it's because you've got the person that you love that sometimes you think is this really possible did i really find the, the person for me like did did the universe or did god really bring this this person for me yeah they did god brought you this person the universe brought you this person you just need to stop overthinking because that's what it's about right now is that you're constantly overthinking but you've got like i said you've got the person that you're meant to be with right here with the lovers card then you have the seven of cups it's like this beautiful relationship where you have so many qualities between the two of you and i'm not saying don't work on yourself i'm saying you know, we all are working on ourselves on a daily basis and continue to work in your relationship and building a great relationship. But I think that you think there's just so much more that you need to do and that is not the case. And of course, like I said, you got the queen right here, queen of swords, because you keep overthinking. And the thing is, you're a deep, like I said, you're a very deep thinker and you know exactly what you want. And you go for it. And that is a great quality to have. And I think your partner loves that about you. Like they love the fact that you just get out there and get what it is that you want. And they, they admire you. Like they admire you. They see you as this person who like they look at you and think, God, I'm lucky. That's exactly how your partner's looking at you. And like I said, man or woman, that's how they're looking at you. All right. So for both singles and couples, you got the release and surrender card and you are being blessed right now even if you think you're not being blessed you're being blessed even those who are in your who are single right now and you're not dating and you feel as though you're not being blessed you are being blessed like take this time period for you especially those who don't want to date and i understand you want love but remember that that love is going to come to you you're being blessed so I want you to go ahead and just open your arms and release any of those negative thoughts that you've had, especially those who are in the relationship right now and you're, st and you're still questioning the relationship. You've got to release that because you found your match. It's just really about you being a little bit more open right now. And I mean, when I say open, I mean like really being open, like mind, body, soul open to receive these blessings. And like I said, those of you who are dating, you've got to be really open, right? All right. So that's all I have for you today. As I said, just be open. Okay. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.